Hey, what's up everybody, this is Ray. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how you can beautify your web pages for your perfect web apps using Skeleton. Often you want to prototype a web app, but you might not be an amazing designer able to easily whip up a bunch of nice looking HTML and CSS from scratch. In that case, it's handy to use a CSS boilerplate library like Bootstrap, Foundation, or Skeleton. These libraries are designed to give you some basic CSS to make your web apps look fairly decent out of the box and usually also work responsibly by helping you lay out your web apps using a grid system. The idea is after you prototype your web app using one of these boilerplate libraries, you or your designer can extend this base CSS. In this screencast, we're going to look at one particular CSS boilerplate library called Skeleton. I like Skeleton because it's dead simple, easy to learn, it has a nice grid system, and it makes your apps look pretty decent out of the box. This screencast has been sponsored by Perfectly Soft, so thanks to them for sponsoring, and let's dive right in. I have a simple perfect app here that has a model object called acronym, and is configured to use a database. It has an API for performing various operations upon this model object using JSON, and a controller that registers for various test routes and calls the API appropriately. I'll use Perfect Assistant to open a terminal to this directory, and I'll create some empty files that we'll be writing in this screencast. We'll need one called tilcontroller.swift and one called mustachehelper.swift. This project will also need to use mustache, so I'll drag that up into the dependencies and click Save Changes. I'll then open the Xcode project and switch over to mustache helper, and add in a helper class that makes it easy to render mustache templates. If you're unsure how this works, check out my screencast on templating with mustache. Now let's open up tilcontroller.swift and create a method to register its routes. From now on, it will contain just a single entry. If you perform a get at this til path, it will call the index handler. Let's write that next. To quickly try this out, for now, I'll just return all of the acronyms as JSON. If there's an error, I'll return that instead. Next, I'll open main.swift, create an instance of my controller, and call the add routes method. Build and run, and nice. I can go to slash TIL to see the list of acronyms. Now that we know we have a working route, let's pretty it up by using Skeleton. To get Skeleton, we can just go to getSkeleton.com. Before I download it though, let me give you a quick overview of how it works. The first thing to point out is that it comes with this handy grid system. The basic idea is that Skeleton splits the page into 12 columns, and wherever you want something to be in a particular column, you surround it by a div tag that specifies the number of columns. Every time you want a new row, use the row class and you put in the entire page into a container. Next, it comes with some basic typography to make your pages look pretty decent. It also uses a special web font called Railway served by Google. Skeleton comes with some default styling for buttons. Basically, apply the button class or the button tag or an input type of submit or button and it will be applied automatically. There are also some blue primary buttons that you can get by applying the button-primary class. There's also some default styling for forms. It's all built in, except do notice there's a u-full-width tag that you can use to make an element fill up the entire width of its container. Finally, there's some other stuff like styling, code styling, tables, and media queries. All right, so let's just go to the top and click download. Then I'll open my project folder and create a new directory called webroot and move the entire CSS directory into it. Now I need to configure perfect to serve files in the webroot directory. To do this, I'll open main.swift and set the server's document root to the project directory. I'll also edit the scheme and set the working directory to the directory of the project. I'll now build and run, and I verify this by browsing to CSS slash skeleton.css, and nice, there's my file. Now that we have Skeleton available, let's create a mustache template to use it. But first, let's regenerate the Xcode project so that it detects this new directory. Then I'll create a mustache template called index.mustache and I'll turn on syntax highlighting real quick. First, I'll add the standard tags to start an HTML document. Then I'll import the two CSS files provided by Skeleton and I'll import a Google font that Skeleton requires. Then I'll add a container for the page, add the first row and make it full width. Inside, I'll put a header for the web app. Next, let's fill in the to-do to render a list of acronyms. We're going to assume that we're passed in an array of acronym objects in a parameter called acronyms. So first we'll loop through the list of acronyms and create a row for each. Then we'll create a three wide column and put in the short version of the acronym. Again, we're assuming that the objects in the array create a property called short. Second, we'll create a six wide column and put in the long version of the acronym. And third, we'll create a final three wide column and that's just a placeholder for now. That sums up to 12 columns and that's what skeleton expects, so we're good. 
Now we need to update the controller to serve this template. So I'll update tilcontroller.swift and add a property to help us know where the templates are stored. Then I'll delete the placeholder JSON we were returning earlier. Remember, our template is assuming that we're passing an array of acronyms where each acronym is a dictionary, and this is all in a parameter called acronyms. So let's create a mustache map type and set the acronyms value to all of the acronyms in the database returned as a array of dictionaries. Finally, we call mustache requests, passing in the request and our mustache helper and the path of the template we just created. Build and run and go to slash TIL, and awesome. We see a nice looking list of acronyms styled with skeleton. All right, that's everything I'd like to cover in this screencast. At this point, you should understand how to beautify your perfect web apps using Skeleton. You can apply these same techniques to any CSS boilerplate library you use, or even your own CSS. And of course, as always, you can download the completed project below. You've learned a lot about Perfect at this point, and you're probably ready to put together everything you learned to create your own web app. Well, good news, that's the subject of my next screencast. By the way, do you know why skeletons never get scared? It's because nothing gets under their skin. All right, I'm out.